Hi, my name is Leah Day, and today I am dusting off machines. This is my old Juki serger that I used to sew garments on professionally, and I am finally ready to let this girl go, and along with all of my other machines. I'm actually eBaying all of my Janome's, HD1000, the DC1050, and the Janome Horizon. She's way back there in the back. So it's just a big process of kind of collecting all of the feet, all of the tools, all of the gizmos, dusting the machines out, double checking that I have all the parts, and Josh is really handy. He made a list of everything I had for two of the machines, which was really helpful. Um, I do think that eBay is a good option. If you've got machines and you want to have them go off on their next journey, uh, give them to somebody else, eBay is a good option because especially if you've added feet and accessories, you kind of increase the thud factor of that machine and um, but at the same time you might have worn it out like you know you want to kind of look at the things that are worn out or showing wear and a lot of times I, I get a little iffy you know oh this is this is a little dusty or oh there's a scratch on it you know I can't sell it well eBay is where you can sell stuff even if it's damaged so long as you make sure that that's really clear in the description so whenever I do an auction like this, how I'm writing it is this is sold as is, those words as is, which means that you're accepting the condition as it is presented in the photos. And I also don't allow returns because I don't want the machine back. You gotta be happy with it, whatever, whatever it ends up being. Um, that being said, I'm not selling lemons. <laughs> Obviously, if you've got something that's broken, don't sell it. Uh, get it fixed. You know, that kind of thing, you know, it's just kind of general best practices for eBay. The one thing that's kind of obnoxious, and this sometimes happens, is there's sometimes people that get on there that have never eBayed before and don't really know that it's an auction and it goes to the highest bidder and they're like, I'll pay you $300 for it, can I have it now? <laughs> it's like, no, sorry. That's against the rules, actually. You can get kicked off as a seller if you kind of break the rules of the auction and sell it to somebody else before the auction ends. So. All of those things are kind of cool and things that I've learned over the years. I've sold probably five machines on eBay so far and with these that'll take me up four more machines. I do think that it's a good place to sell and a good place to buy machines. You just need to read the description, make sure you know what you're buying, and make sure you like what you're going to get. So I hope that this helps and you enjoyed seeing this casual cam. Until next time, let's go quilt.